Am I crazy? Or does stevia seem to work? I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, I don't think that I have the body of a 44-year-old weed-smoking pig who has sat on his ass for the last four fucking months playing 200,000 rounds of Zynga poker to prove a point. And Jeff Gallion, I'm giving you a call right now, MMAKO.com. I'm going to leave a message for you. Got a pound of stevia, Jaja, the pure, in my trunk. And if you or Mark Brill put it in water, okay, eight teaspoons per gallon water, make lemonade, iced tea, coffee, you're going to go lean and if you want to, borderline ripply like magic that's what it does and it'll spread like wildfire in a good way at least through the female population come to the phone at the present time if you leave your name and your telephone number in a time where i can reach you i will return your call as soon as possible thank you jeff the stallion gallion Always like you, man. Even when Mark Brill fucking tried to derail the stevia movement by putting stevia in burgers. I told him, don't do that. Make water sweet, okay? Sweet meat might alienate people. He did it anyway. And what I'm saying is that if you got stevia and you put it in your mouth, it would give you a surge of energy that is like cocaine, methamphetamine. But it's legal. And lots of it. Knocked six tumors and 62 pounds off my uncle in four months with a little asterisk blending all the toxic shit out of water before you drink it. Yeah, new discovery. And humans don't do real good with new discoveries, okay? Galileo, didn't they burn him at the stake for saying the earth was round? Um, Dan Quinn is saying that there's a healthy sweet out there that'll make everybody lean and for their body basically perfect. And if they have gynomastochomia, it'll vanish like mine is doing, okay? Discs underneath my nipples that were big, hard, painful, gone. If I had insurance, doctors would have said it was tumors, just like my uncle's. And fact, not fiction, the violin works, brother. It really does. And it's almost like I'm trapped in a curse. I have friends with cancer who won't use stevia. I have friends who've snorted cocaine. And won't snort it okay and you know what I have friends who are cage fighters that suffer from fatigue factor in fights and get knocked out and lose and shit and you know what I'm saying Bon La Pua. yeah that's what stevia does it gives you a lot of energy keeps your brain in the fucking game and you know what I shouldn't have to prove using my body that stevia works I'm going on 45 years old and my track record, you know what, I have a losing record, yeah, and I fought champions, you know, Frank Mir, Carter Williams, and like in a Carter fight, I get kicked in the nuts so fucking loud that you can hear it on the tape and in the stands, and delayed reaction, I was actually on methamphetamine, yeah, my ex, you know, made these little super bottles, she was worried about my cardio, and uh, delayed reaction, kind of like dinosaur, you know, got kicked, didn't hit, looked over, and boom, it dropped me. And then I get fucked out of that fight. And then 29 seconds, wasn't it 19 seconds too long in the second round versus Harry Gopal? And you know what I'm saying? I'm saying that Dan Quinn has discovered a miracle. Oh, and the violin, it actually does upgrade the Kama Sutra for women's sexual pleasure. So what I was thinking is that when every woman who would love to look like the MMA, MMA, babe of the month, KO, whatever, okay, uh, yeah, but they don't, and all they gotta do is put stevie in water and drink it, and they're gonna go lean, okay, it'll vanish all the fat on their bodies, and then, if their man or woman presses on the belly right about here, you know, wrapping around the thigh, pressing down, meeting the inside fingers, touching tips, playing a violent action, find that area, clitoral stimulation, it's like the 4th of July if fireworks were orgasms, man. About once a minute or better for an hour or more. New discovery. And in America, can you even hear this, Jeff Gallion, since I put that in my pocket? 
people don't do well with the truth and new discoveries. You know, the fact that we think the fucking Twin Towers just crumpled to the ground because two airplanes flew in the top and got hot for a brief second. Structurally, uh, physically impossible. Okay? Demolition job. And done by the same people that are fluoridating our water supply just like the Jews in World War II Germany, okay? Only they're not doing it directly. They're selling it to us in fluoride toothpaste and we're brushing our teeth with it, okay? And it's numbing our minds, dulling our senses, and what I'm saying is that not bad for a 44-year-old weed-smoking pig who has sat on his ass for about the past four, five months playing 200,000 hands of poker, okay? To prove a point you know what couldn't be working out if I'm putting that much fucking time in and what I'm saying is that Mark Brill putting stevia in meat and making it sweet was a direct attempt to cop lock my fucking my movement man okay and what I'm saying Jeff Gallion is that if you are Mark Brill accept this pound of stevia the recording has reached the maximum length to replay your message Press 1 to delete and re-order. Your message has been sent. Thank goodness Thank you for using what I pushed voicemail. didn't delete Goodbye. it. Ever done that before? You know, when they could use one uniform fucking, uh, you know, entry. Okay, system. And I'm sure that that's caused a lot of problems across America. You know what? Uh, driving a car, trying to fucking leave something. Your cigarette falls out burns a hole in your pants, you know what, you crash into a wall and you're dead, shit's happen. And uh, they could do it differently, but they don't. And what I'm saying is that if Jeff Gallion or Mark Brill puts eight teaspoons of stevia into a gallon of water, turns it into lemonade, iced tea, coffee, drinks it all day for 30 days, you guys are going to go so lean so quickly that people are going to be like, oh, god damn. Dan Quinn was right. And then when I'm rich, what I'm doing is using a small percentage of a liquid that acts like the fountain of youth, Jeff Gallion. Fact, not fiction, man. Um, it brought Peachy back. It did Bob Johnson. And then when it stopped, Peachy was dead within a month, and Bob Johnson ended up in the hospital. All right? Yeah, that toxic shit floating, warning, danger, caution on all the stuff that we're pouring down the sink and the drain, out of sight, out of mind, it's going somewhere. It's going into our water supply, and it's making people sick. So if you guys, one of you, either one, follow Dan Quinn's Stevie directions and pays it forward, what I'll do is when I'm rich, eventually it's going to happen, I'll retire you and everybody in MMAKO.com. Excuse me, gentlemen. Uh, yeah, and if you don't, what I'm going to do is use that money instead and I'm going to attack Mark Brill, and I'm going to legally fuck his shit up, okay? Just like I would if he actually had the nuts to fucking face me in a cage, but, you know, he's not that type of guy. He calls me and tells me that, you know, he's going to do a Stevia Burger thing, right? You know, pay it forward, and I'm like, Stevia Burgers? That sounds disgusting, dude. Seriously, why don't you just make lemonade, iced tea, coffee, put it on the side, drink it, okay? And, and that way pay it forward. But he did it anyway, okay? And he's a friend of Dave Huckabuzz. And he got into a big argument with Tara Chow over something. And Tara Chow, talk about a lying bitch. She was at first a second degree black belt. And then it morphed into third degree. And you know what? First night on the phone with Tara, I told her, look, you know what? We're not going to ever work out if you would be jealous, like adding other women. You know, because I'm getting a lot of calls and the stevia thing works and the violin works too. So if you would have any problem with that, then we should probably even continue this even further. And, oh, no, no, no problem. And I said, you know what? I'm straight. But if you wanted to fuck another guy, you know what? I'd rather you do it in front of me so that could turn me on, all right? Instead of doing it behind my back. Oh, and she was down. And then I started getting contacted on Facebook by other women. And that bitch lost her fucking nut. I mean, lost her mind. She went nuts. And uh, I'm saying she's part of this systemic fucking uh, opposition to me and my discovery. Trying to make me look crazy. 
calling me bipolar when they're all over the fucking place, okay? And I've been stuck on the same fucking path for the past four or five years. And I'm saying Stevie works. It makes me damn near as lean, okay, as I was when I was 18, 19, 20, okay? And all you got to do is put it in water and drink. If you do that, everybody in MMAKO will be like, oh my God, thank you, when I'm getting paid from a liquid that acts like the fountain of youth. And if you don't, and that's your prerogative, what I'm going to do is try to destroy Mark Rill's life as a fucking warning to other people of who and what not to fuck with, especially when, like, Ali Sonoma's potential tumor, right? It was fucking, uh, what, a year and a half, and it was getting bigger and bigger. It was going to definitely end her career, possibly invasive surgery, okay, possibly end her life, and it vanished in 14 days. So I think that from then until now, all right, every seven seconds a woman dies, all right, that's almost like mass murder in a way for people cock blocking and I don't think people will have any problem with me spending money and following Mark Brill wherever he goes and surrounding him with people that hate his guts and you know what if it comes down to it how much would it really cost to pay cage fighters to do what you guys do okay that have actually been there and done it alright you know what wouldn't take much at all alright that's right around the corner potentially I've got other things to do with my time and I'm not really planning that so my offer is one pound to either Jeff the Stallion Galleon or to Mark Brill. You make water sweet. You guys go lean within 30 days. And uh, you know what? Pay it forward. Help me get it famous. It's all good. Your decision, gentlemen. I hope that you're drinking sweet water. But then again, it's up to you. And uh, like I said, Mark Brill, Stevie Burgers, disgusting.